In this video, we're going to go over the general overview in Autodesk Inventor. And we'll talk about everything we need to know in the layout of the tool so that we can start making efficient CAD designs. When you open up Autodesk Inventor, you'll notice that you have a home screen where you can create new parts, drawings. Some of your documents will be listed here. Um, assemblies, drawings, parts, presentations, everything could be listed here if you'd like. You can turn that on and off. Up at the top, we have our normal file menu and our standard Autodesk home and customization for your uh, toolbars. In Autodesk is set up similarly to other programs where there's a ribbon up top and this will change with our tools, but in the opening screen, you have a lot of options here as well. We're just going to click new part. The part file should be an IPT file. An IDW would be a uh, inventor drawing. An IAM is an inventor assembly and a IPM is a uh, presentation. We'll create a part. Once you've created a part, you should get an open screen like this, or you have a graphics window. Your 3D indicator here is at the bottom. This will be our model browser with our uh, tree, so we can see our sketches and features. Again, the same file menu bar up top, and then our ribbon or quick access toolbar up top. Um, all that stuff is pretty standardized in the Autodesk products. When you click the file menu, you should get quite a few options. You can do things like export an image to a PDF or a drawing. You can save as different types of files. You can share through the Autodesk platforms, A360. You can print drawings. You can open up a new file. You can import. So we've got quite a few options just right off the bat on the file menu. In our 3D model tab, that's where we have our 3D features here, or we can start a new sketch, and then we have our 2D features here, along with our constraints menu. If you run into a snag, it's really important to know that you have online help, and if you drop down, you've got a whole help menu. You can download the, the manual. Um, or you can go online and look through some of the stuff. So that's always good to make sure that you know where to look when something's not right. The Autodesk documentation is really good. At the bottom of your screen, you'll notice that there's a small command uh, toolbar. If I select a tool, it'll pop up with a command here and it'll tell you really what you want to do next. So that's really handy. It'll also pop up on the screen. And if you're worrying about constraints and things like that, those will show up here as well in Inventor. As far as the buttons on your mouse, in Inventor, the left mountain is used for clicking things, selecting items. The right mouse button can bring up additional options. So you've got an entire menu here that you can automate. You can also use commands to select specific things. So if I want to undo, I would right click and drag to the left and I undo creating a new project. Go back to my part. My middle mouse wheel allows me to zoom in and out. If I click in my middle mouse wheel, it pans. And if I hold shift and click in my middle mouse wheel, it'll actually orbit my objects. Okay, we also have this view cube up top. So if I hit home, it'll bring me back to that view. Autodesk also has quite a few um, tutorials and things like that. So if you're interested in grabbing some of those under learn more, you can click tutorials. And there's some pretty good stuff on there. Uh, if you want to do this quickly, F1 is your help and that brings you right into the online platform. This will help pretty dramatically in starting to create drawings or getting lost. If you're inside of a document and you've accidentally created it as metric or you want it to be IPS, uh, you can go through and go to tools and document settings. And that'll allow you to change a lot of the um, this particular document. And then you can save that as a template later. 
So if I wanted this to be in millimeters, I can change that here. Again, if I also want that to be in grams, kilograms, I can also change my precision. So let's say I wanted four decimal places. This is a good spot to do it. Hit apply, close, and that should change my whole entire document. And you can do file, save as, and save copy as a template, and we can use that later on. These are the basic things that you need to know about Inventor just to get started in the environment.